Today we're going to install this Garmin fish finder on my kayak, my old town Sportsman 136 or 13.6, uh, however the kids are saying it. Except I'm going to do it in time lapse so you don't have to watch me unscrew screws. Well, here's the deal. For the ones that came with this fish finder in the transducer, I can put it up in there. Uh, I'd have to drill some other holes to mount this. And then this would sit on it, but it would be sitting sort of like that. And that's gonna put that, um, the, this a little bit too low for my liking. It'll be down something like that. Uh, I need to get the, the third party or um, 3D printed model or attachment or whatever to hook in these here and this hooks to that and then it'll flush it up really nice and close to the hull. Uh, you know, I knew it was coming, but because, um, you know, the other videos I watched, but you don't really know until you get up here and, and take this part off and then you can kind of eyeball up in there and see what's what's what. And so, yeah, it's definitely, uh, these are designed for boats, obviously, this fish finder. They weren't really thinking kayak. Most people get the smaller version. I got, you know, a larger fish finder. But that's the price one pays for technology. Well, we got a little problem here. The hole is this big, and this is this big. And I've also saw this coming. These two come apart like that. That's where the fuse is, and that red wire. So my thinking is I could try and cut this yellow here, in which case I might be able to jam that through that hole. Probably not. My best bet probably is gonna be to cut the red wire string this up, bring it on through, and then get some electric tape, put that red wire back together. It's not ideal other than put, making a bigger hole in the kayak, which I don't want to do. That's probably my best bet. If it wasn't very clear on what I was doing here, I, uh, you know, cut that red wire and with this normal uh, wiring, uh, what do they call those, wing nuts? No, wiring connectors there. I connected the two, you know, stripped the wires, put them back together, and then uh, I just uh, filled it full of uh, the silicone sealant. And uh, as soon as that hardens up, 
I'll, uh, I'll put some electrical tape on it. That'll probably do, right? All right, there you go. That's as far as I can get. So this is part one of the two-part video. This is kind of review here. What I did to, real quick, I, I got the wiring in here. You know, I took the, the, the uh, trolling motor off and the brackets because it is much easier as, uh, as you may have found already the video. I can't remember his name um, who said to remove that. Much easier to do. Um, got the wire in there and I got the... Uh, you know this one from from the transducer in and then you saw um, I went ahead and go ahead and put the the power in this side I had to cut that red wire which is kind of a bummer but I think it'll work as soon as it dries I'll hit it with a bunch of electrical tape it's fine it'll be fine yeah but most importantly is this transducer is not gonna the, the attachments they gave me is not gonna work so um, I will have to order that part and stay tuned for uh, video number two on uh, any gotchas I might have um, encountered when installing the, the top mount and, and everything like that. We'll see. And uh, it went pretty smoothly other than, uh, other than a couple of gotchas that we've, we've just reviewed. So uh, like I said, like and subscribe and uh, hit that bell so that you'll get notice on part two. Catch you out there.